Have you ever really wondered how the mid-sweep works on a parametric EQ? On a console, I get asked this all the time. Now, I figured out the bass knob. I know what the treble knob does. But that stuff in the middle just confuses me. It's really pretty simple. Remember when car stereos were real easy? You got into the car, and there was a volume knob, a tuning knob, and a dial in the middle. And all you did was turn up the volume knob, turn around the tuning knob till you found the song you want, and there you went. Same thing we're going to do here with our mid-sweep, except we're going to find the worst station on the dial, not the best station on the dial. For instance, this is rehearsal. You have a person singing. They begin singing, you turn up the monitor, it squeals. Very common thing. How do we get rid of that? How do we know where that is? Well, we have several techniques, but one simple way to do it is to find out what their issue is in the fundamental of their voice as it relates to that sound system and that monitor and that microphone. So we'll ask them to do this. Hey, John, um, I'm sorry about that. You take the blame you're going to get anyway. I'm going to work on something here. Uh, I learned something in a quick seminar. Hey, can you sing just a little bit for me? And I'm going to make it feedback, and I want to have just a moment of trouble for you, but it's going to have a very long-lasting positive effect. John begins to sing. All we're going to do is this. Look over the console. Let's say that we had our bass, mid, range, and treble all flat here. We're going to take our sweep. So this is bass, and that's treble. We all know what that does. Now, this is, this is the low mid, and this is the high mid. These are inner related. This is our volume from the radio. This is the tuning knob for the low mid volume and tuning for the high mid. I'm going to say, John, would you mind singing? I'm going to boost this to about plus six. This is simply turning up volume. This is at its lowest frequency. As I sweep this around, John's voice will change. It's going to boost the frequencies in his voice, beginning with the lows, moving to the highs, and somewhere typically about right in here, it's going to squeal and sound horrendous. Right there, when it does that, I'll take this from plus 6 to minus 6. I don't move that. Now I've eliminated the core issue. Now, I started at the low frequency because I want to get the fundamental first. I want to start at the high and get the harmonics. I want to solve the problem at its core. But I don't want to simply take all of his energy out there because that's very, part, uh, very much a part of his voice. But if we start at the low, plus 6, sweep it around until it feeds back, roll it out, we solve the problem. Same thing for acoustic guitar. Let's say a channel... Two is our acoustic guitar. We do the same thing. Hey, John, would you mind playing the acoustic guitar? Well, it sounds a little tubby, boomy, whatever your term you may want to use. I'm going to solve that. You turn it up. He begins to play. It sounds horrendous. Say right there. We pull up to minus six. Whoa, that sounds a lot better. That's all we've done. And that's a simple little tip you can use this Sunday.